Okay, this is all gamut. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about one of the hot topics that happens to be not only here in the U.S., but also internationally. Yeah, you know, the President of the United States has done exactly what he set out to do, but it backfired entirely on him. Ooh. You know, there are other people involved. And you can never, sometimes you can predict what they're going to do, and other times, well, there's other factors you forgot to consider. Well, what he'd been trying to do since the day he became president was to destroy the America's uh, presence in the world because he said that we're too full of it and we think we're too great. The uh, problem is, is he went out on a limb, which he doesn't do. I like it the other night on the television. He was showing the President of the United States drawing a line in the sand a year ago. He kept drawing the line in the sand and kept drawing the line in the sand until he backed himself up against the wall. And that's when he said, we're going to have to teach the Syrians a lesson. Because <laughs> he couldn't draw a line anymore. But uh, his plan, as I understand it, all along is to basically leap from behind. He thought the world was going to, well, we're going to prove that, uh, you know, that, that he used sarin gas on these people. What the problem is is that they, um, they can't prove that he did any of the above. So Obama has got no support from anybody but the French who have a vested interest because they used to control Syria. Ah, interesting. They want to come back into Syria again. And if they come into Syria on the other side, which is Al-Qaeda, they don't care just as long as they get their foothold back into the port of Damascus. Ah, it's all about the port. Mm -hmm, it's all about the port. He who crawls, okay, Damascus is the entry point for the Middle East. It's why Assad basically has got every bit of power he's got situated and protected. It doesn't make any difference. He can lose the entire country but Damascus. As long as his military controls Damascus, he controls the Middle East. So, because you come, everything you do comes in through Damascus. And actually, Damascus is one of those things that you used to hear about in the Bible. Yeah, it's always been there because it's important. But he also said the President of the United States is also, he, he figured that he was going to use the, when he had, when no country in the world, including the UN, would be, he's not even going to get a resolution to the United Nations to be vetoed, which is the funny part because they can't prove. But the, he thought, well, I'm going to sit there, I'm going to back the Republicans into a wall. They're going, I'm going to be able, this is what he started saying last night as people. Well, the Republicans are going to vote against the resolution to, to in order because they don't like black, they, I'm black and they don't, they're racist. Well, I don't think this has anything to do with Syria. No, it has nothing to do with I, I don't even get the connection. No, but he wants to, to be able to rule by executive order only and he figured, well, I can back him into a problem and then he found out they can't, he has no, okay, they have already said he has no support. He has to have 170 votes of Republicans in the House of Representatives to pass his resolution. And there's no guarantee, Harry Reid is gung-ho, but there's, um, there's no guarantee that Harry Reid will ever bring the resolution up in the Senate. None. I think so. So this morning the President basically added to the thing through the, well, the President of the United States has decided to go through Congress in, because he, in the event that he decides to attack, you know, to re um, military action in, in, in uh, Afghanistan and in uh, Liberia, Libya and in Iraq and attack the reactors in Iran, he wants to be able to know he'll have support. That basically, you know what happened when the Democrats heard those minor little words attacking these other countries? His support in the Senate went mm -hmm. like that. There's no desire. They put out the phony. They put out the phony thing from Democratic supporters this morning. Sixty-four percent of the people are demanding military action in Syria immediately. No, over eighty percent of the people in this nation want no military action. This is NBC polls themselves. They don't want any action. They had okay. They have not had anti-war protesters protests like this since the days of Vietnam, and they're spreading all over the United States. And Congress is basically getting an earful on their vacation. One of the people said this morning, he said the only way they're going to get away from the protesters is to go back to Washington, D.C. <laughs> he basically killed the stuff around um, Obamacare because it's all now about his, his stupidity. With Syria. So superior. do you think they're actually going to do something? I don't think they're going to get, okay, here's how it works is. 
they will give Obama an attack, a, a slight military attack on Syria if he gives them something in return. And if he gives the Republicans something in return, that something in return is going to be like the shutting down of Obamacare, or the cutting of the budget, or cutting of Planned Parenthood, and he's not going to do any of that. Mm -hmm. So there's not going to be any action. He's not. He, um, he somehow figured that the country would rally behind him against the Republicans. Well, I still don't understand that one. Uh, no one understands it, but it was a, they said it was a, okay, well, I understand from all the stuff they were doing last night, he went out for a walk in the Rose Garden with his advisors, including Valerie Jarrett, and they told him, you screwed up. Hmm. I mean, there is no support for you to attack Syria, and he said the, it's a lame, what, 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 this is what do, it's a lame ass excuse after 110,000 people killed. Well, we're going to attack because they use gas. There's 110,000 people that were dead before that. And it said the Republicans are willing to give him an attack based on 110,000, not what he says happened on the gas attack. Mm -hmm. So, and then he figured, well, we're going to blame the Republicans. And they all, and then they told him, it ain't going to work either because there's nobody in the country, including the Democratic Party, that wants you to attack. So he has done nothing since he won. Okay, since Benghazi, every single thing he has done has been wrong. Everything. Mm. So, you know, it, it's, it's going to be an amazing thing. They said, they said, well, that the only way they can save a possible, he, he's counting on Baynard and Reed to save his rear end. And say, well, we're not. There, there's just no de desire for the tax, so we're not even going to bother with the vote. And then he can say, well, to the world, well, I tried, and unfortunately, like uh, Cameron in England, I couldn't get the support I needed among the, my enemies, mm -hmm. and it was the fault of my enemies that this didn't happen. So, it, you know, it didn't go over well in England when Cameron started calling him that his enemies. Uh huh. Yeah. So that that didn't work out well at all. So. He's got to be in there. Okay, here's another one. One of the president's most ardent supporters said, when he fires the first missile into, uh, you remember the House of Representatives said he fires the first missile into Syria, I'm going to sponsor a resolution for his immediate impeachment. Mm -hmm. Because he said, there, uh, he said, we can't have a man that just, he said, this man got, since, since today he got the Nobel Peace Prize, he's done nothing but kill people. He said, we have no right to fire missiles in the foreign Isn't countries. That how you keep peace? Yeah. But Obama, they said that George Bush, well, George Bush was doing it. Well, no. George Bush, Bush didn't do a missile a day. George Bush fired missiles into bad guys' things. Obama fires missiles indiscriminately anywhere he wants to in, around the world. So, well, you know, I'm 1,500 miles away. Nobody, none of our people's going to get hurt. Well, he's got troops sitting on. He has 2,500 Marines sitting on board a ship. What the 2,500 Marines need to be doing sitting on a ship outside of Syria if you are not going to put boots on the ground? Mm -hmm. That's because he thinks there's going to be direct military action. Here's a good one. You know what Aegis ships are good for? What? Firing missiles and hey. shooting at airplanes. You know what they're not good for? It's 20 foot, 20 foot long longboats coming up against the side of your ship and climbing up on board your ship and shooting a lot of unarmed people whose defense system cannot deploy downward. Mm. So you have to have a ship full, what is it, USS San Antonio, an amphibious ship with 2,500 Marines on board to come to the rescue of his five Aegis destroyers he's got out there. Mm -hmm. So that, that's called, in theoretic take, that's called boots on the ground. <laughs> I guess we're going to be until next time when we. This is going to be an ongoing thing. We're probably I, going to be doing this for weeks. Yeah. So until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net, which is our commercial site, or WWMBN News Video Web, which is our actual news site, which is, if you notice, is undergoing slight changes because we've got so much information now that we're starting to add. You know, like sometimes we're getting four or five things from the same source during a day, so now we're starting to add one after another instead of one page after another. So watch the tags and you'll find out what we're doing on each one of the things. So. Anyway, for, oh. I know. <laughs> what? No, it's just it's a change because we're being overwhelmed. Okay, 
the easy trick is, if people saw us at the beginning, we had one big long blog with everything yeah. underneath. Now we've got individual, we got individual web items, but those web items are not once again sort of growing exponentially out of control in order to make it work right. We're having to put one, two, three, four items on each unit. So we got we got lots of boy, we got lots of NASA, we got lots of uh, technical stuff, and it's the only way. If you want news, we're going to give you more and more. Plus the fact that she's now doing more stuff on the entertainment news side, which is now starting to grow also. Mm -hmm. Go to the travel suite because you're going to see a lot more new stuff over there too. So wherever you're watching this, subscribe to us for our daily newscast. Thank you once again for watching MBN News Radio Web, Monty Bubbles, or wherever you're watching us. Yes, thank you once again for hundreds and hundreds of millions of likes. Meanwhile, come like us on Facebook at Monty Bubbles Network. Follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles, Pinterest, and Instagram. Yeah.